everybody on uh, this video this isn't going to be a paint video this is going to be how to disassemble a quick set doorknob not a quick set keyway doorknob but an actual quick set doorknob uh, what you got to do here I'm actually going to be using the right tool this can all be done with flathead screwdrivers a little more of a pain in the ass so you got your spindle here this has to come out <clears throat> before you can get the kicks the uh, cylinder out of it this is what you'd probably want to do if you actually got some of these and you wanted to actually pick them so you see there's a little tab right here <clears throat> this uh, one direction is in the lock position when it turns then it's in the unlock position or I'm not sure that's locked or unlocked so that's that's locked and then that way be unlocked or return okay now to get the spindle out you actually have to put it in the middle between both of them which is kind of I guess neutral or something I guess so when that's in the middle you see right there it's in the middle and then you have a little pad right here you know, and you push on that pad and you do this with a flathead when you push on it you'll see right in here I'll try to do this through the camera here you push see a little piece comes in and that's actually pushing the spindle out of what holds it inside so basically once you got this in the middle push it Turn it up and shake it. Sometimes you got to tap it or pull it, but it'll you know the spindle will come out. <clears throat> now once the spindle's out, you have this little piece right here that's uh, spring loaded as well. That has to be held up. So you can do that with one screwdriver or something. There's anything that'll go in there and hold it. And then you got to get something else inside to actually push the cylinder out. So with this tool that actually goes in, it's pushed up, push it all the way in. I'm gonna lift the camera up here so you can see. And then once that's all the way in, that piece is held up. You yeah, actually just tap it, and the cylinder will come out. Okay, so then you got to kick your cylinder out, and then you're able to uh, you, know, you can pick it, take it apart, rekey it, or pop the cover off and rekey it, or shim it open, or whatever you want to do with it. But you know, you at least got it out of this, so you've got them where you can store them easier and pick them easier. And if for some reason you wanted to reassemble it. Uh, easy enough. You just this can fit in two ways. Sorry, gonna do this through the camera here. There's a lot of gunk and shit in this thing, but it can be uh can be assembled two ways. Uh, whether it's gonna be right side or uh, you know upside down or or not. But you just basically just get it where it fit, pop it in, and then your spindle just goes this back in and you just push it locked in and you're done then you're ready to go put it back on the door so that is a quick video on how you actually get the cylinder uh, out of one of these and you know if you have like a defiant brand or the generic ones then it's going to be uh, different than that you don't have to actually take it off the door to get those out and i may do a video on that in the future but uh, that's how you get these out and uh, that'll do it for now and i'll talk to everybody later